I'm Tracy Walker. I'm a filmmaker. I'm Rachel Baskerville. I'm a photographer. And together we are producing a calendar. Join us as we take to the road to get to know 12 fabulous women and their old girls. This is Old Girls on the Road. Today we've got two for the price of one. We've got Sandy and Anne in their beautifully colour coordinated vehicles. Sandy in a hot pink charger and Anne in a uh, turquoise Mustang. Incredible. Look at this. So this one's 50 years old as well. Hello! Hello. Hello. Here we are. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks so much for being a part of Old Girls on the Road, Sandy You're and Anne. You're welcome. Yes. And how did the two of you meet? Cars. Cars. Yeah. <laughs> You both would have memories that would possibly go back to the 50s. Mm -hmm. What for you was the best decade? 60s. <laughs> 60s? The 60s, yeah. What about you, Sandy? When was a good time for you? 70s. So what was it about the 70s that, that what? was a good time for Probably you? Probably the cars. Of the decades you've both lived through, mm -hmm. What decade would you say has seen the most positive changes for women? The 60s and 70s, women started to make a stand, but women growing up in my era, we didn't think there was anything wrong no. with yeah. men taking yeah. charge and yeah. women yeah. doing the housework. Yeah. What about you, Sandy? Oh, Do you I think there's, there's room for improvement? Well, I think everything's out there if they want it. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they're in everything. You just look at yeah. the news, mm. they ask opinions, on things and it's often women. Mm. I mean, they're science, technology, mm. they're, they're, they're in it, um, politics. Yeah, if you want it, get it, they're, go they're for in it, get it. Medicine. And I know that you've spent some time in London, oh, um, yes. in particular mm. in the Weybridge area, yeah. and you've got a bit of a story to tell about <laughs> a, a weekend there. It was back in the mid 60s, it was, and I used to work um, in the evenings in a, um, a Greek restaurant. And one night this guy came in, his name was Magic Alex. I went out with him a couple of times and then this evening he came in and he said, we will visit John tonight. And I knew he knew the Beatles, so I thought, okay, so it's John Lennon. So we went, went down and I didn't believe it all the way down. <laughs> anyway, he knocked on this door in Weybridge and John Lennon opened the door and we stayed, stayed the evening there. And the next morning, John came in and he had a cup of tea. And he said, a cup of tea, Anne, would you like it? And I said, oh, yes. And he said, okay, he said, one lump or two? And I said, oh, two, please. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> two lumps was two lumps of acid, so. Did you have a good day? <laughs> I didn't have a good trip. Yeah, and they went to a, um, an antique shop. They all took off and, and I was left to walk, wander around and I was very suspicious of sounds I could hear. And, there were shrubs, they were, they were all hibiscus and they were all in bloom and I couldn't work out all these blooms, they were Australian flowers. You know. What they were doing in yeah. Weybridge. Yeah. <laughs> the drawing that you had that you yeah. told me about. Tell well, me about that. Yeah. They, um, they went and got fish and chips and I said, John, do you think you could draw my sister <laughs> <laughs> the drawing? And I'm what's the Wobble time. Wogger reference? Well, it was the only thing Australian town you could think of. Think of right. you know. oh. He said wagga wagga. Oh, that's yeah, amazing. He thought it was a great word. Yes, yeah. yes. Was that overseas adventure quite ambitious for a woman to travel very, on her own at that time? Mm. Did you do any travelling, Sandy? Mm. No. <laughs> had a rather boring life in the Caribbean, but no, no, I wasn't adventurous. No. Was well, own body. that's a, a lot of people strive mm. for yeah. contentment and mm. don't get yeah. it. So. Yes. Sandy, you say you don't have a spirit for adventure, but you do have a love of medieval weaponry. I do. What do you love about that? I don't know. I, I really, I don't know what started me on it. It, mm -hmm. it just fantasy. Just 
I like fantasy, I don't like reality. Okay. So dragons are fantasy, they don't exist. I think it's that. Maybe because they're a powerful thing. Yeah. Dragons are a powerful thing. Swords. Weapons. And maybe it's the tomboy in me, I don't okay. know. I have a tomboy side and maybe that's what it is. Just, just love that. collecting swords yeah. and daggers and dragons. <laughs> and I'd like to have more, but um, the house isn't that big. <laughs> you mentioned um, that you love to drive your car and you like to have music on. Surf the net for new music all the time. And it's all, all contemporary time. music that you're listening to at um, the moment. It's oh, dance, electronic, um, trap. Um, a bit of blues, a bit of country, a bit of mm -hmm. rock, a bit of pop, a bit of a bit of everything. It's just what I yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for <laughs> sitting and having a chat with us, ladies. You're it's welcome. been most Thank entertaining, you. both mm -hmm. of you. And you bought this car online from USA. Yes, it's some true. might shudder at the thought of that. How did that all happen? How did it pan out for you? What sort of an experience mm, was it? It wasn't a very good experience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And your car is a 67 model. Yes, Do you remember in 1967 being aware of these cars coming out and oh, being yes. on the road? Yes, yeah. I do, but they're completely out of my grasp. Mm. I ask all the women involved in Old Girls about a memorable moment in the car, but it was very interesting that you referred to uh, just driving it anywhere around here and all the hairpin uh, corners mm. that, that you encounter around mm. here, which suggested to me a real love of actually driving, driving. perhaps over and above even having a cool car. Yeah, so yeah, Sandy's a bit the same way. Yeah, you just really we, like to get out and drive because sort of, you like, like the driving yeah, and yeah. the sound of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's we live for it. Yes. And it's been wonderful being mm. here today and chatting to you and hearing your stories. And thank you thank for coming. You. Oh, you're thank welcome. Thank you for dropping in. It was great. Thank Enjoyed you. it. I really did. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. So we'll see you at the next Old Girls event. Let's hope so. Yes. Lovely. Bye. under there as well. Very fancy. Lovely. You said your car is a little bit like an alter ego to you. How does that work? It's my alter ego. Your yes. alter ego. Well, I mean, it's brighter than me, faster than me, okay. prettier. Its lines are beautiful, it's loud, and it's younger. <laughs> so it's my alter ego. Sandy, your car is from 1972. Do you remember what you were up to that year? <laughs> I have to think about that one. Test the memory. I was probably married for the first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, how many times have you been married? Three. Three. Third Three time lucky? Yeah. Good. Lovely to hear. Yeah. Sandy, I love the memorable moment that you talked about when we were when we first met uh, in this car. Do you want to tell us about that one? Uh, that would be probably when my daughter, she's very like outgoing and adventurous and her mother isn't. Mm -hmm. So I took her to the airport for her to go, you know, in a plane away. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a night time. She was up in the air in her escape machine mm -hmm. and I was driving home in this car which is my escape and yeah. my freedom. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, it just struck <laughs> a chord. It, yeah, Lovely. it did, very yeah. much so. Still does today. We play this little game called Fast and Furious. In this game, we present you with two options and we want you to very quickly just tell us which, you th which one of them you think is more conducive to a positive ageing process. So no overthinking, fast and furious, here we go. Moderate alcohol consumption or bottoms up? No moderate. A challenge or a comfort? Comfort. 10 units of Botox or a 15th of attitude? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A sea change or a tree change? Tree. And money or love? I have both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you for playing that. That's We've had a wonderful one. day here today. It's been just fantastic getting out on the road and coming to uh, catch up with yourself and Anne. It's been really yeah. great. Thank you so much for being a part of Old Girls on the Road. Oh, I've enjoyed it too.